Hi guys, let me just get my camera situated. Make sure you guys, you guys can see me perfect. Actually, that's actually perfect. <laughs> okay, so um, for today's video, I'm going to be um, dressing my candles. So I figured I'll just film it. I'll just film me dressing the candles and we can just have a chit chat this morning. Um, I just finished eating breakfast and um, all of that, so <laughs> that was nice. Um, and I figured instead of like filming me eating every single day, <laughs> maybe I'll switch it up a little bit. So I figured I would do the eating first and then um, get started. So, okay. Um, my straps. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? So today, it's going to be a warm day today, but I was noticing on my weather app, it was saying something about thunderstorms. So it is a little cloudy outside. It's like the clouds are moving, so the sun just started to peek out, but um, it is kind of cloudy. So I'm kind of hoping that there will be some thunderstorms because thunderstorms in the desert are so different from... Um, the, when they were when I was down in the Inland Empire you just I think it's because it's so open up here and emptier that you just hear everything like everything echoes and um, I don't know it just to me it just seems they're just they seem very different so dressing candles um there's really you really don't have to dress a candle if you don't want to so I choose to do it because I think it looks really pretty um, to have some herbs in the candle while it's lit. It just looks really pretty and I think, I like, I just like the way it looks. That's why I do it. Um, and I also like to dress my candles when I'm setting specific intentions for them. Um, the ones that I'm going to be doing today are the ones that I was showing in my fall haul video. Um, these are candles that I'm going to be lighting in this house. So the intention that I'll be setting for them will all pretty much be the same. Um, just for protection of the house and to um, every time it's lit just to radiate positive energy that's kind of the intention I'm setting for pretty much all of the candles except for this one so this is um, this is the candle I, I'm lighting this week for my husband um, so it's a Michael Archangel candle I decided to bring out the big one <laughs> Um, usually I, I, I light a Mother Mary um, candle, but I feel like this week he needs more of a warrior energy because that was the card I pulled for him yesterday. So if you guys saw that, that video, um, you'll see what I mean. So because I pulled the warrior card, I feel like Michael Archangel is the warrior, um, the spiritual warrior. And so I just think that this would be the perfect card, um, perfect card, perfect candle to light for him this week. So I already put his name and the date of the week um, underneath the candle and I have um, nothing inside of it. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. So what I have here is um, I have some spirit oil. So this is an oil blend that um, I purchased off of Etsy. It was um, created by, let's see if they have, um, oops, Inked Goddess Creations. So um, they make oil blends. The spirit oil is basically for spiritual contact, spiritual communication, intuition, all of that. So I just like to kind of pour a little bit inside the candles um, because I feel like when I am doing um, intention work, I am connecting to spirit. So that's why I do that. So what I usually do is I have the, the oil and I just, I literally just pour like a drop. I try not to pour it on the wick and there you go. So I'll leave that open so that I can do the rest of the candles. Um, my other candles are scented, so I don't really want to put too much oil in it, like because this one is scented as well. And then I spray to cleanse the candles. Usually you could light some um, sage, just some incense, whatever, for cleansing your candles, but um, I'm gonna do the spray today because like I said, I have some scented ones and I just, I don't really want to um, go, go overboard with that. <laughs> And then um, I usually set my intention while I'm putting the herbs in. So for my husband, like 
Um, I just ask for a courageous week and to fill him with courage and to fill him with power, wisdom, um, and a lot of confidence and to give him the ability to obtain and retain the information that he needs to pass the test that he needs to pass this week and to give him the courage and to not worry about what other people are thinking and to help him be swift with his studies. And then um, I'm gonna put some mixed herbs. So this is, these are, oh, it smells so good. <laughs> I bought these like two years ago, you guys, and they still smell amazing. Um, these are from Moonlit Herbals. And so you could find um, these, you could find her shop on Etsy. So Moonlit Herbals. Um, and this is an herb blend. This is Queen of the Gypsies Witchcrafted Herbal Spell Blend. I don't like the gypsy word, so I feel like that's, not very that's not very nice <laughs> um, I don't think people should be using that word but there you go um, moonlit herbals moon magic this is witchcrafted herbal spell blend so um, they have different intentions she puts um the the all of the the ingredients that are inside her herbal blends um, and then she kind of just can give you like instructions I think when I first bought these she gave instructions for like what how you could work with the herbs and stuff um but i bought them specifically for the ingredients so like i really like this one um i really like that it has rose and it has um some sage and it has some um some sunflower like uh, sunflower petals i think it's sunflower petal i don't know i don't really know all of my herbs like i'm still learning <laughs> it has some um it's just a lot of floral. It's a floral blend. So there's a lot of that. But I really liked it for the rose and um, the sage that it has in there. And then, oh, it has um, lemongrass. So what I usually do is I just kind of pluck it. And I, if it's like big pieces, so sometimes there's big pieces of the herbs, I'll, you know, crinkle it in there. But I usually just pluck a good portion and I put it inside the candle. Um, and like I said, you could say your, your little prayer before or after. It doesn't really matter. However you feel is right. And then there you go. So the blend is in the candle. Um, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. Um, you could set another intention over it if you want to, but for me, this is ready to go. So once I light it, um, I keep that candle lit. If I'm home, I'll keep it lit all day. If I'm not home, I blow it out. And then at night, I usually leave it on at night. Um, or sometimes I'll blow it out. It just depends on how I feel. So that's done. <laughs> um, so let's do the other ones. So I have like, the, like these, like I said, these are just the candles that I bought um, specifically for the house. So, so they're all going to have the intention of... Um, protection over the house and to ignite positivity when the flame is lit. And just give that radiance of a beautiful home. So like I said, I'm not gonna be going crazy with, <laughs> with cleansing these because they have their own scent and so I really don't wanna ruin that. Um, as far as putting some oil, I'm just gonna put a little drop I kind of like move it around so that it, you know, it's kind of spreads just a little bit. I also have some herbs here. So this was, these were coming in from my, um, the witch's moon box. I was having, I had the witch's moon box for like two months and then I canceled the subscription because life happened and Luna had her, that was when Luna was having her vet stuff and um, I had to get my car fixed. So I really like, couldn't afford the $50 moon box anymore and it, I was sad because I looked forward to it in the in the beginning of the month but you know life happens so I'm gonna eventually renew the subscription once I'm like more comfortable financially but anyways <laughs> um, so this is some jasmine that came in one of the boxes and I really love the way jasmine looks and I think jasmine will look so pretty next to the green so I'm gonna do jasmine and these are like the full size of um, like flower, the bulbs of the flower. So I love it. I love Jasmine. So there you go. See, it's all done. Pretty. 
and it'll look really pretty when it's lit. This is my cinnamon one. <laughs> I love the way that spray smells. Oh, the cinnamon smells so good. <laughs> okay, for the cinnamon, let's do some, ooh, let's do some raspberry. So this is raspberry leaf. I'll do some raspberry leaf, and because it's red, let's do with the aesthetic, let's do some rose, too. Mm. It does have a scent to it. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the oil. <laughs> See, you guys, we can't. There's no no such thing as being perfect. <laughs> okay, let me put some oil in this. Okay. I try, if, it, if it's like chunkier like that, like thicker chunks, I try not to have it too close to the wick because when it's lit, it will light the chunk on fire, obviously. Um, so you don't want to have it overwhelming um, next to the wick because then you're just going to have your herbs set on fire and then sometimes it smokes, like especially if you use sage, you'll smell it. And if you don't want that or you don't want, you know, you know what I mean? Like I like my herbs to just kind of be melted in with the wax and it just looks really pretty so um if you have chunkier herbs like this i would say spread them out so that they're not next to the wicks like overwhelmingly next to the wick i love dried rose that's probably my favorite herb to work with i i just think rose is all about love romance hi starla she's all curious Ooh, this one's gonna look pretty when it's lit especially with the purple of the candle <laughs> so there's that so you're done and then let's do my pumpkin cupcake oh, i'm afraid to spray this one i'm gonna do it kind of far away I don't want it to. I mean, this stuff smells good too, but I don't want to, you know, overwhelm it. <laughs> so the pumpkin cupcake, I'm definitely going to use some jasmine in here. Actually, there's jasmine in this herbal blend, so I'll do that. Yes. So sometimes I will, like, I'll just go based off of how the candle looks and then how I want the the herbs to kind of just match. I think with white candles like this one, um, when you have like light colored herbs, it just looks so pretty when it's lit. Ah, uh -uh, get down. No, Starla. She's a bad girl. Oh, and of course I forgot the, I'm just forgetting the little oil. <laughs> I'll just dab it right in the center. So this one's pretty much done. Actually, oh, hey, get down. Oh my God. I have my phone charging. Get down. Sorry guys. She could have just totally like taken my phone with her. Um, oh my God, this cat. She drives me crazy. Like I love her, but she drives me nuts. Okay. Um. I think I'm gonna use some sage. So I have some sage in here. I'll use some of the smaller. Oh, it smells so good. I don't wanna do too much. And then, I think that's good. And lastly, my leaves candle. It smells so amazing. So amazing. I love dressing my candles. Like, I find it so relaxing. 
No, you stay over there. You're being bad. Um... little thing is ready to fall off <laughs> I'm telling you like a little goes a long way with these oils I've had this oil forever and I still and I still use it it smells so much like it smells a lot like rose okay um for the leaves let's do let's do rose let's just use this herb blend it's darker I have like this cute like big one I don't even know what to do with it like should I just stick it in there <laughs> I'm just afraid it'll light on fire and it'll never go out, but Ugh, I'm gonna have to buy more of this blend because I've been using it a lot lately and um, eventually I'm gonna run out. I just freaking love it. And when you buy these blends from her, oh my God, like they just smell so good. Like they still smell good and I've had these for a while, but they smell so good. There you go. There's another one that's done. And like, so right now it's just, you know, it's just crinkled up dried herbs on the candle, but when it's lit, it just looks so pretty. I, I just love the way it looks. Um, so yeah, you guys, there is my candle dressing video. <laughs> um, but yeah, what else? What else am I gonna do today? I don't even know what I'm gonna do today. I think I might go, I wanna go to Target, but I don't want to spend money I don't need to spend. I just, oh, actually, speaking of spending money, I bought, um, my husband and I were talking about it, and I ordered another cat tree for the cats. So Luna has one that she's had since she was a kitten, and that's like her cat tree. Like, she loves that thing. Um, and so Luna, I mean, Starla likes to sleep in it, and sometimes she wants to curl up in the top one with Luna, and then other times Starla knows her place, and she'll sleep in like the middle one, and Luna's at the top, but, but of course, cats always wanna be high up, right? So I told my husband, I think we should buy another cat tree, and that might minimize their fighting, because they do fight. Um, they don't fight really bad, but like they do fight. <laughs> and um, um, right now, Luna, her paw, like the bottom of her, her paw is a little bit swollen so I think Starla bit her or scratched her or maybe she like stepped on something that, um, that was sharp or I don't know but it's a little bit swollen the pad of her foot is a little bit swollen and she's still walking on it and everything um, my husband was able to kind of look at her foot and she didn't get too skittish with him um, she trusts him more than me <laughs> she was not letting me near her um, but I think she'll be fine because I was like, should I make an appointment for her? And we decided just to let it let her be because it traumatizes her when, when we take her to the vet. Like she just gets so upset. So I don't want to ignite anything within her. I'm just gonna kind of keep an eye on her foot. Um, but if I notice that it's not, not getting better, then I'll have to take her in. Um, but it's not like bleeding, there's no pus, there's just it's just like a little bit swollen so the pad of her foot you know so it's a little bit swollen so I think Starla probably bit her when they were fighting um or something I don't know so there's always something with Luna I mean it like Luna is I, I like my problem child like Luna is the cat that just always has always had an issue she broke her hip when she was like barely two years old um and she gets sick like she got sick and that's why I had to take her to the vet the couple of months ago and she's just a sensitive cat and she's a, my little wallflower you know she's so afraid of everything and she's kind of aggressive like the vet even told me she's like she's pretty aggressive and you know that they she doesn't let them near her and stuff and that's why I don't like to take her to the vet because it's a lot for her um and she is a little bit of aggressive like she really only lets me and my husband near her and no one else Whereas Starla is like involved with everybody in everyone's business and she's not afraid of anyone and she'll come out and she'll, she's just everywhere. And so <laughs> she's just not afraid of anything. So they're completely two different personalities and Luna of course is just not having it with Starla at times. So I'm hoping putting two cat trees in the bedroom, like I have one on one side of the window um, we're going to move our dresser and then have the other cat tree on the other side. So hopefully that will minimize the fighting because they will both have somewhere to sleep. 
And, um, and then, you know, hopefully, I'm hoping that as Starla gets older, she won't be as hyper and she'll settle down a little bit and Luna will, you know, cause they do get along. Like yesterday I came into the room and they were both laying on my bed, completely content. So they do get along and they eat together. Like I have their food bowls together, they eat together. But it's just Starla gets in her moods where she just wants to pounce and jump on Luna. And Luna just doesn't want anything to do with her. So, And Luna's just super irritable right now, I think, because her foot's bugging her. So, so this week when I go to work, <laughs> I'm going to be giving Luna her space. I'm going to put her in the bedroom, her little headquarters where her cat tree is. So I'm going to keep her there with her food and water. And there's a litter box at her cat tree. So I'm gonna keep her quarantined in the bedroom while I'm not while I'm at work, and Starla can have the whole house to run around, just to give her a break. Um, because I do know she's irritable with her foot right now, and she just does not want Starla around her. So, <laughs> rather than having a fight break out when I'm not home, um, I'll just separate them. And then since I'm here today, it's like I could keep an eye on it. But these cats, man. <laughs> these cats all right you guys well that is going to be the the end of today's video diary thank you guys for sitting in with me while we dress the candles um if you have any questions please leave them below and i will talk to you soon bye loves <laughs>